Okay, hey YouTube, it's Broken SB09. Um, this is the 200 subscriber paper M4 walkthrough video. Um, like I said, this is a walkthrough, not a tutorial, because tutorials would take eight parts, nine minutes each, blah blah blah. And it'd be actually, I don't need a second one of these, and it's kind of hard to film it. Um, if you've ever made a tutorial, you would know. So I'm just doing a walkthrough type tutorial, which just shows you how to make it, not like, I'm to tell you how to make it, not like showing you. So, um, actually most of you don't know, when I made this gun, I made the parts removable. So, um, you know the stock, I'll get to that in a minute. So to make the gun, um, I'm gonna decompose it real quick. Uh, the main muzzle, there's actually a protector that keeps it from sliding off. And here is the rail system. I will get to this in a second. And here is sort of almost the main gun. Um, it's just a long tube. And one more thing. Let me pull that up. Uh, magazine. Get to that in a second. And charging handle. Get to that in a second too. So basically, this is the main gun. Um, if you want to see it, it's basically uh, four tubes. And it stops at this tube right here. It's like cut off right there, except for this long one. Um, the mag goes in there, it's like a little square. And it's not that hard to make this, guys. Um, the curve is decent, it's kind of bad. Um, so pause the video, model it like this. I mean, guys, it's not that hard. Make a handle, mag, and everything. So the detail, just to make the cut and make the flap. Here is the, like, uh, I forget the name of it. I know the name, but I forgot. Um, the detail is just like a bullet, kind of. And it's rolled up and taped with it, a layer over it. This is just a triangle with that. Um, I know the rails aren't that realistic, so don't hate me. Um, the muzzle is, I believe, two tubes rolled up, taped together. Uh, right here is just, I don't know what it's called, but as you can see, it's just taped on. And, uh, yeah, that's basically your main gun, the trigger, trigger guard, it's all that simple. So, for the rails, um, I can't really take it off, but... It's basically, you uh, make a thin line, then make little grooves in it by just making another one and taping them on. Then put a double-sided tape where you can make your own. That's what I did, like these little ones right there. And just attach that, and then in the middle, only in the middle. And they, the attachments can slide on. So the next part is the rail system basically you take the six tubes you don't have to make it where it can slide off but i did uh this would be the main barrel if you didn't want it to slide off so just saying um the tubes around it uh roll the paper cut a piece of paper and roll it up so you can't see the tubes in between them and then do the same thing with the rails but make them the same size and just uh double side tape them on and there you go, you have the uh, rail system. So to get that on, simple. You just uh, line it up and slide it on. So there is the rail. The next part is the mag. It's simple. NDF211 Gunner has a tutorial. I'll put a little annotation somewhere. Because if you don't know how to make this, it's really simple, guys. Learn how to make it because it's not that hard. Um, there's no bullets in it because, um, I don't really want it to shoot. So, yeah, not that hard, mag, simple. Next part, um, the charging handle. Here's basically what it looks like. It's a, uh, tube that's rolled up and I taped the size to it. And this is the main tube. And then it has a cut like this. It's like, um, the Jurodoff his M200, like that kind of cut, or, you know, those kind of triangular cuts. So, it's really simple, the hole in the back with the charging handle, 
that just goes in. Let me flip this flap down. And when you pull it back, it will simply just open up. It's not that hard. Okay, so we have almost almost all of the gun done. The stock. Now you're gonna need a picture of the stock. And you gotta roll up a tube right here that fits in the back of one of the tubes, like that. And what you do is you look at a picture of an M4 stock and model it. Or you could pause the video here and model it. The curves and the, you don't have to add that thing, it's just like the screw that you push to extend it. Um, roll up a like, uh, I don't know how you call it, but um, kind of make it where it's rounded on the edges and tape that on. For the detail, just roll up some, like cut out more of those and just tape them on. And uh, that's about it. And then tape the tube on to the sock. So, yeah, that just slides in, basically like that. So you're almost done. Um, this is the protector, so this doesn't just keep randomly sliding off. But if you have the sight, which I'll show you how to make in a second, you don't need that. So how to make the sight. You could either tape it on or make it removable. Make this the size that fits over the main muzzle. Just kind of model it out. Play around with it. Um, that's just for detail. And uh, add some flaps up here and you got your front sight. It's simple to get on. You just uh, slide it on like that. And that's the protector for it, I guess. So front sight. Um, next is the flash hider. Roll up a tube that fits over the muzzle again and just cut out that. It's not that hard. And yeah, there's the flash hider. You can do whatever design you want on it, I guess. Doesn't matter. Next thing, silencer. Make a tube that fits on the muzzle and you're basically done. If you want to add detail, roll up another tube on top of it so it kind of has a layered look. Um, so whatever. Um, red dot sight, roll up a tube, uh, cover the back ends, take a uh, sheet of paper, make it triangular, and put tape over the front, and then put a red dot in the middle. For the rail guards, you just tape, like, um, kind of little grips, and they just slide on and they should lock onto the grooves so you have now a red dot so yeah um, next part the front carrying handle more two of these little things you're gonna need to make a bunch of them if you want them and you just have to model it out for the carrying handle um, and then put the little circle and that's gonna be your front sight and then, if you did it right, it should still slide on. Um, so let me try it real quick. Yeah. So there it is. There's the front sight. So after you get that, there's, you can just make as many attachments as you want. Like, I made a grenade launcher. I'm not going to show you how to make that. But um, it's simple. Just play around with it. Uh, the four handle, another one, just a tube. And that slides on. Uh, hang on. There's different sides that it can go on, but um, hang on, wrong side. And that can just go on like that on the front. So yeah, just play around with it. Um, see what you like. Add the attachments as you would like. There's no specific way to do it because it's kind of a model gun. Not model, but you know, like you could add grenade launchers, lasers, you know, different stuff. So just play around with it. I hope this walkthrough helped you kind of get the idea of how to make it. So, uh, yeah, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. The MP5 SD tutorial will be out soon. I just have to add commentary to it. So, yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe.